All right, guys, today we're diving into the debate of whether Razors or Rangers is a better fit for you. Let's jump right into it. Look, I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and read you was soft. All, you All right, guys, welcome back to the Let's know. Assess podcast. We're back for yet another episode, and AJ is here again. So we're, we're two in a row, and um, we're going to dive into the debate. Um, you know, with summer being around, we do a lot of side-by-side stuff for hunting, for leisure just for everything and we thought an interesting topic would be ranger versus razor and so i'm going to take the razor standpoint if you guys have been tuning into the let's assess podcast you know that i just got a new razor and i'm a razor fan and aj is gonna kind of take on the the ranger side of things yeah welcome back guys uh thanks for listening and like subscribe follow follow us on instagram everything give us a rating five star rating if you would um appreciate every single one of you guys listening and caring about what we're doing and what we have to say. So, I mean, yeah, like Brent said there, we're going to kind of jump right into this. Um, I'm going to take the Ranger standpoint. I personally have a, um, a Textron Wildcat XX 1000, but, uh, I would actually rather have a Ranger or a commander or, you know, what a Can-Am version of that. The Defender. The Defender, I guess it is. Yeah. So I would, probably rather go that route either brand and we're not going to do this brand specific like we're not going to go raise or can am versus players or anything like that but just utility side by side versus sport um side by side so with that i i just enjoy the ranger for what i do more um me and my wife don't get out a ton with the side by side i use it a lot for hunting and uh, the little bit that we get out with it, you know, we go enjoy tooling around the mountains out at our uh, sand wash, everything, but not really a ton of, you know, going fast and climbing hills or anything like that. In the last two years, I actually haven't even probably, you know, went over 50 mile an hour in a side by side. So Come on, AJ. <laughs> no, I'm I know it's pretty pathetic, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, so I'm going to take the Ranger side. Um, some of the key things that I, I think the Ranger is better at is you've got the bed for the storage of all the stuff that you want to take with your cooler, your grill, your, um, if you want to take, go camping with it, you can get all your stuff in the bed with it. It all rides really good, etc. Um, and then I, I just kind of like the sitting upright in it. Like you can see good out of it. You're not, um, you know, tucked down in it. You're just not out like going fast. And when I'm hunting or even when I'm just out and about in the springtime, I like observing what's going on outside and seeing, you know, <laughs> if there's any critters running around. Yeah. So I like that sitting up in it, uh, that, that feel of it. That's probably, you know, the biggest things that I enjoy out of it. What, uh, what, what's your take over there? Okay. Here's my take. Okay. You can make, this is my opinion. You can take a razor with the right razor and you can get all the capability that you would out of a ranger in 90% of the ways I can't but, wait to see you put an elk in the back of that thing. Well, I'm going to have to watch. Well, I hunt <laughs> I on foot, wait. so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, no, wow, you hold on. You backpedaled fast. I, I, will, I will say something about that. Yeah. Um, so, th- th- so you can take a razor and you can <laughs> maximize it and kind of turn it into a ranger in certain ways and get kind of the best of both worlds. And what I mean by that is, for me, the biggest thing is suspension on the Razor. And that Razor will knock a Ranger suspension all day. Yeah, but okay, so you're going how fast? Well, no, but hold on, hold on. I'll get there. So here's my thing. (laughs) I like this debate. This is going to be fun. (laughs) So here's the thing with the the Razor. I bought a four-seater, and one of the reasons why I bought a four-seater is I don't have kids, but it's a storage, okay? So if I want to do an overland trip or whatever, I have the room to do that because you can take the back seats out and it's a full platform in the back. Then you have, yes, it's not a huge bed, but you have the small bed. And then if you want to go and have even more storage than the ra- the Ranger, you can put a roof rack on the Razor. So then you can have all your stuff up there, all your stuff, your coolers or whatever in the bed. And then you can have... If you don't have two back passengers, you can have all your stuff in the second row. Now, the thing that I mentioned about suspension is, for me, fast or slow, I like having good suspension. And the reason why is because I feel like when it comes to scouting for elk, I can cover more ground. 
because I'm not getting whipped around. It's just a smoother ride. I feel like I can go for longer, more comfortably. And I feel like with me being honest and talking about speed there, I do like to go fast a lot of the time and go 80 on the dirt trail and stuff like that. So to me, you have kind of the best of both worlds. The thing that I will say that I hands down will put in the Ranger win cat, uh, category, it is quieter 100%. Like I have, a, I've left my Razor stock. It, it's not the Turbo, it's the Pro R. It is way quieter than 90% of the Razors around here, like considerably yeah. quieter, but it is still not as quiet as a Ranger. So that's what I would probably give it, but I really do... I think when it comes to the trade-off, unless you're working it on a ranch or something like that, I like I just think the razor is just more versatile with more things that honestly we both like to do. Yeah. No, and I, I can understand that standpoint. Um something that I'd use the ranger more for is like, you know, up at the cabin and stuff, we clear some brush and we go, yeah. you know, throw brush in the bed. We can go to use the dump bed then. Um um, we also use it, you know, to go and get a load of firewood or something like that when we're up there. For um, work, hands down. Oh, yeah. Hands down. So the Ranger, better. hands down is way better. Yep. But then again, it's like, then maybe do you go in between the Razor and the Ranger and get like a general or something like that? Man, I don't know. I think, so here's going to be, and this is going to be strictly hunting driven on this. You say you do 80 mile an hour down the dirt track, getting to where you're going with your your Razor. Well, I, not really oh, hunting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I mean like out in Sandwash for, a, you know, going out yep. and some guys are on dirt bikes, I'm on a razor. But the general thing kind of sparked this, and I'm not going to use you for this example. Last year when we were deer hunting, and we deer hunt a lot out of the ranger, just putting around, looking looking for white butts, everything. You know, you just boop, 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 boop around <laughs> and have a good time doing so. It's, you know, smooth at that slow speed. It's not bouncing you around or anything like that. You know, we got our, our guns are in the roof rack. Like it's just a dialed setup for that. Our guns aren't bouncing around loose because, you know, they're not in a soft case or a hard case. Yeah, but in the shit, back you could seat. put a gun rack on that. Okay, I'll see it when I see it. I'm an archery hunter, um, <laughs> so I probably won't do that. <laughs> so now his bow's bouncing around. Yeah, but, true. Um, anyway, there was a hunter out there in a general. And they were just hauling ass around. They're like, okay, we know there's deer here. So they boom to there. Damn, and then, that sound is so nice. Did it? <laughs> got that sound to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, they were just cruising around. And like they, oh, yep, there's deer there. And we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's deer there for sure. And then, you know, they boom away from us. And they passed so many deer just flying out of there. Yeah. That like. We just, I, I don't know. I like the beat bopping around and you just see so much more with the ranger in the, in the hunting aspect. Now I'll going hand, slower. Yeah. Yeah. Going slower. It just, and it, it forces you to drive slower because the steering's not as good. It's not the fast quarter steering or anything like that. Like it forces you to slow down. Suspension's not as good. I don't think the suspension's as bad as what you're saying. It's pretty good nowadays. Yeah, I don't if, know because the Ranger that I have is like, or I don't have it. My dad has it. It's like the base model. Yeah. Um, it's like a 2016 or 2017, I think. So I'm sure they've gotten better, but I guarantee you, there's not a Ranger oh. out there that's stock that would touch that. No, suspension. no, no. And that's I'm not even saying it's any even close to that. <laughs> but I think it's a lot better than you would think for the you know our way of life, I guess per se. Yeah. And. Now, I totally understand why you have the Sport Razor because I also have a Sport one too for going <laughs> yeah. fast and having fun and doing all that. But I just don't use it as much as I, I, yeah. I do the Ranger, and that's why I think I'm more the Ranger guy. But the other thing is, like, in the summer, your main thing seems to be boats. Yeah, we, and that's I'm not out in the side-by-side yeah. side every weekend. So yeah. that's that's definitely – if I was out there all the time, I think I'd have to take your stance more with yeah. wanting the Razor. No, for hunting, no doubt, that is not the best hunting rig on the planet, the Razor. <laughs> But what I will say is, like, for me, it's like I can go slow or just can. like a ranger, but the ranger can't go near as fast as what that. I mean, I'm sure people are going to be like, yeah, I've got my ranger up to 90 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the stuff we ride, it's you're going to snap the frame on it because the suspension travel and the suspension is just not set up to do that. Yeah. And so for me, the razor 
it's quite this one is way quieter than the ones most people have the loud ggb cans and all that stuff on there your old one yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah. And like yeah that thing is a terrible hunting that is the opposite of a hunting rig yeah, in it, my opinion i think you found a good happy medium with this pro yeah. r for you honestly because you do want to be able to go out and go have fast have fun with the friends take yeah. girlfriend out so on so forth and i think you can do that with this and then you can also be like okay yep I can take the seats out of the back, throw my gear in there and go hunting or go camping even like you can go do all that with this. It it fits your lifestyle really good right now. I think now I'm a little bit older, a little more settled down. I guess one would say I don't got to go jumping or all that stuff with my (laughs) side by side. I'm cool with the Ranger, man. It just, we're going to go cruising. I'm going to have my, I mean, we're going to get the same end goal out of both because you, you will make it work, right? Yeah. You, I think I can fit the whole camping gear and all that stuff better in the Ranger. Oh, I can better, get a yeah. Force, no, you know, I no, can make that stuff 100%, fit better. 100%. Without the roof rack, then I'm not hitting trees and all that yeah. stuff, you know, like your height issues and so on and so forth. And that is a massive side I think it's side. huge. <laughs> Dude, I didn't yeah. realize how big that thing Yeah, was he so walked like, in last night and he's like, oh my God, that thing is massive. Yeah. Like the <laughs> oh, shop yeah. is 30 foot deep and I was like, it takes up. <laughs> Two thirds of the shop back and <laughs> yeah. into this thing. I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. But so I think in goal, we're gonna meet the same. But I, I just think the Ranger is a better vehicle and you're never gonna you're never gonna beat that, you know? You just can't. <laughs> God, I disagree. But th- well, we've got to the solution. It, w- it depends on what you want it to do. The yeah. thing with me is I would rather sacrifice a little bit on the storage, which dude, there's guys with razors that they oh. store so much stuff on those things. There's so many aftermarket deals. You can do a lot, yeah. Yeah, I saw a guy pulling a, ra- a trailer with a razor. It's like, how much money do you want to spend, essentially? Yeah, yeah. So, I yeah. mean, you can get around everything, but to me, it's like, it's better to take a razor for my situation and try to make it more like a Ranger, as in, like, stock exhaust, not too loud. I can go slow. I have rock suspension that's real soft, climbing things. Yeah. Um, and I like the bolstered seats and the harnesses. I like all that because then, you know, we might be scouting for elk trying to be quiet one week. And then three days later, we might be in open desert going 80 miles an hour, you know, and then yep. hitting whoops at 40 miles an hour, whatever. Well, jumping you, and stuff like, like that. Wanting to go to Moab and get content and stuff yeah. like that. Like it, it really doesn't make sense for you yeah. wanting that buggy. It really does. Really, really does. But yeah. It's going to be interesting how that Razor does with what, because I've never, the rides I've been on, I'm not trying to be quiet or, you know, go slow. It's like we're out just cruising. It'll be interesting during hunting season how that works. How it goes. Hopefully I get an elk with it there so I don't have to I, walk it out and then I have it on the, I tie it on the roof. I just have this image of you taking your back seats out and you're just going to have this elk chilling in the cab with you. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to have blood just everywhere yeah. all over the thing. Break out the pressure washer. Yeah. That's why you ceramic coated it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll have the legs on the roof, the head in the back. Yep. I mean, there is still some space, but yeah, it's definitely not a dump bed like a ranger. Yep. No, it, there is. I mean, and you know, there are good benefits to the razor. I can't dog it completely, but I want to take you out in it and see what you think. Well, and I'll have a blast. Like yeah. I, I love going and driving them and going fast and like they are a riot for that. The problem that I found in my life is that like I go do that once a year. Yeah. And it's hard for me to justify the price of something that I hundred percent use that way once a year. But then okay, we're going to the cab and we gotta get stuff, you know, dialed in for winter, whatever. Like that that's when I use that more yeah. utility side of a side by side versus the the sport side of it, mm-hmm. and I just I actually don't even end up taking my sport one out at all. So it just it yeah. sits a lot. That's the problem. Were you hinting at something by calling it a Textron? Uh, I mean, we can talk about that if you want. Uh, we ought to do another podcast okay. on that once we actually yeah. get the news. But there's been there's been some rumors floating around about the whole Textron thing, so. It, yeah, we're gonna see what comes out, and we'll, we'll dive into it more if if this all comes to happen. But uh, yeah, comes to fruition, if one would say. Yeah, but, but no, I think uh, I think it's very interesting that you know you're so pro razor with you know the mount that you plan on hunting. I guess like, but dude, I mean, in my, you, you a lot the, of it is just not. I just don't hunt out of a, yeah. any vehicle. Like ninety percent of it, you're a walker. Yeah, it's it's on foot. Yeah, I wish I could just drive a side by side around, see an elk, and then stick it at 
200 yards with a bow or 500 yards with a bow. But yeah, by the time you see it, it's too late because they know you're there. Well, and I think that just speaks more on like our personal differences in life and stuff like that is, yeah. you know, you're an archery hunter. I'm not much of an archer at all of an archery hunter. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you are, you can take the razor, you can blow in there, you can walk from wherever and then drive back to camp, whatever yeah. like that. I'm more of a, you know, we're going to go beat bop around, see what, what comes you know, out. And- you touch on this. Something that really bothered me, honestly, when I first got a razor was the seating position, dude. Because I was so it. used to that Ranger where it's like the nose is like, you can see right in front of it. Yep. And, but I started riding the Razor and I got used to that way of the seat that like, it holds you so much better. You're harnessed in, you don't have that like whipping thing on really rough yeah. stuff. You're secure. It, yeah. You're kind of secure down. You're locked into it and the suspension's working. And now I ride a Razor or a Ranger and I feel like I'm like in a bus. Yeah. Like in a school bus, like driving a school bus instead of like down in like a sports car. Yep. No, and that's a hundred percent like a huge, huge thing. And I like both. I do just for different scenarios because I feel so much more comfortable in the razor, like going fat. Like when I'm in the Ranger, forty mile an hour down the county yeah. road is good enough for yeah, me. Me too. Me it too. feels wishy washy. It feels like you're just up there shaking yeah. with it. Like I'm good in the razor though. Like. Yeah, we can do a hundred mile an hour. It's fine, whatever. Yeah. Like it just, and it's set up to do that. Like think, yeah. I mean, we could even debate like the wheelbase. Oh, like you're wider. Your, you're, yeah, yeah, way wider, way longer. I mean, that thing's like the size of a truck. Yep. And you know, you can get into a lot of different places with the Ranger, well, but for I, me, it's just I like being yeah. able to haul everybody and go to the desert sometimes and. One of the Let places I hunt deer, I don't think I could get your side by side even into there. Yeah, like it just—it's too wide. It wouldn't fit through the opening to get in. So yeah. that you know, there's there's pros and cons to all of it, but I really do think you got a good buggy for your lifestyle for where you're at right now. Yeah, and I think if I had like a boat like you, and I just used it for hunting and yep. uh, like work Spring stuff, time, yeah, yeah, like obviously a pro R would not be what I would get. Yep, but no, but. I think. Uh, I think it's a good little debate there. I think yeah. I think you uh, need to ride in a newer Ranger and see what the suspension is, or even a new Can Am. It's it's not bad anymore. It's really yeah, not. I've heard it's it's good, it's but pretty good. But yet you still are not comfortable going that fast. Like yeah. it's just, and I think that's something that you you really hit on there was you want to be able to go fast, and that's that's where you're at right now. And that's yeah. something where I've kind of slowed that down. You yeah. Got to have a Mountain Dew not spilling in the cup holder and stuff like that. Well, with that suspension, you can go fast and it won't spill. Exactly. But, <laughs> shoot, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to reach them back there, too. It's kind of just whatever, you know, fits your lifestyle. I mean, I think it was a good off-the-top-of-the-head debate, not talking about specs or anything like yeah. that. But So that's kind of my two cents, and, yeah. I mean... I'll hopefully you guys there. liked it. Yeah, hopefully you liked our uh, Joe Biden versus Donald <laughs> Trump debate. That's yeah. about the level that it was yeah, at. Exactly. Well, go out and buy your Ranger and enjoy it. Yeah, buy yourself a razor if you want to let her eat. So, <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, let her eat. Catch you later.